I'm taking a shortcut before. What are you doing there? I'm singing. What? What are you singing? The song of the dead. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam. That is Day. And today we are getting into the first installment of the Cornetto trilogy, Shaun of the Dead. Uh, this is a movie movie that both Zay and I have not seen. We do plan on getting into uh, Hot Fuzz next, and then The World's End after that. Um, so this will be our reaction to Sha Shaun of the Dead. Um, now, to let you guys know, after doing some research, I turns out I have seen The World's End. So that's the last one in the Cornetto trilogy. Um, I have seen that before. It was a good bit ago. Uh, I've only seen it once, but I do remember enjoying it. Other than that, Zay, you've not seen any of the movies in the Cornetto trilogy, have you? No, I'm very uh, aware of these. Well, I should say I'm very aware of um, Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead, but I've never actually, I don't remember ever hearing about World's End. So um, I don't know anything about it personally, like anything, plot, cast, really anything about it. So I'm very interested to uh, get into it. Yeah, now I do know that Sh uh, Shaun of the Dead is about a... Um, a zombie apocalypse and it said that he was a aimless tv salesman so that'll be interesting okay interesting. it's supposed to be like a horror comedy and uh you know the what connects the cornetto trilogy apparently is that there's like a cornetto ice cream or something in each of the each of the movies so i guess maybe it all takes place in the same world or something like that um huh. uh so that's uh i know that much but now another thing that connects is they're all Edgar Wright directed and featuring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Now, I've seen a movie with an alien. I think it was called Paul that had both of these actors in it. Um, I thought it was funny. I'm a huge mm -hmm. fan of Simon Pegg. Uh, I love him in everything I see him in. And Nick Frost is entertaining to watch as well. So i um, super excited to see how this all plays out. Yeah, Zay, is there anything you know about this movie before we get into it? No, but I will say that movie Paul sounds familiar now that you mentioned that. So I'm mm -hmm. wondering... If I, I don't think I've ever seen it, but I've, I vaguely remember something like that. Um, but yeah, I got nothing else to say. I'm uh, ready to hop in. If you like what you're watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full length reaction to this and various other movies, we'll look at three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube. You can check that out on Patreon. Link for that is in the description. So you heard me right. If you want to watch the rest of our reactions to the Cornetto trilogy, you can check that out on Patreon right now. The link for that is in the description. Um, let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's get into Shaun of the Dead. Uh... Second, second time you've done that sound. Dust orders, please. Drinking a beer with a cigarette in your hand is crazy. It's crazy that you used to just be able to rip a cig right in a building <laughs> inside. I know he's your best friend, but you do live with him. Ed, it's not that I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice if we could. Fuck. Ha! <laughs> Do you get it? Yeah. Yeah. That's clever. That's funny. It's not that I don't like David and Donnie, you know. Guys, it's not that I don't like you. <laughs> Ed doesn't have too many friends. Can I get any of you kids a drink? Well, I think we might know why. <laughs> But you do actually have to set some quality time aside for yourself. It's your anniversary soon, isn't it? It was last week. Oh. How about mind your business? It's an A-B conversation. <laughs> you still haven't met his mum. You're shamed by your mum, Sean. No. Oh, my. Things will change. I promise. All right. You gotta work on it. I'm interested to see if it does change. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. So are these zombies or just just a <laughs> pop up crowd <laughs> impromptu dance? Been there, done that. Do you walk like a zombie too? <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> enough. 
<laughs> Player two has entered the game. And you got what? Player two has left the game. What Damn. a party pooper. That's rough. You do know the front door was open again last night. I'm not saying it was you. I know, man. I'm saying it was Ed. This kind of gives me Scott Pilgrim vibes. Um, have you seen that movie? No, we've talked about this. Yeah, I've never seen that. Ooh, that'll be funny. Yeah. Could you take down everyone's messages, not just your own? Yep. It's not that taxing, is it? Oh, he's, he's like a kid. It's like a little kid. <laughs> Dom, oh, Come on, it was pretty funny. That's funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sean. Oh. What? <laughs> Get out right there. Done. <laughs> You're laughing because that's some stupid shit you would do. <laughs> <You've> not... <laughs> When you put the table, can you make it eight rather than seven? I'll try it work. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, he's not gonna relay that one. Nelson. Oh. You need a later remains. I was totally munted last night. Yeah, I spoke to him. He's only... Is this a company or is this like a summer camp? It looks like he's got like actual children with him. <laughs> I do not find it difficult to keep my work and my social life separate. Sean! It's Liz for you. Um, just quickly, do you get my message? Yep. Oh. <laughs> just write me later. Goodbye, Liz. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Now, now it's not his roommate's fault. Nope. At this point. Now it's completely his. <laughs> yep. Because he lied. <laughs> it's like he's screwed. Oh my god. Jesus. He's still with... Liz, we'll go out for a meal tonight, actually. Oh, anywhere nice. Yeah. Oh, he didn't even. Oh, he didn't even book it yet. Yeah, there's been a bit of a, a mix-up with the table, babe. I thought you said it was all okay. Yeah. I don't oh. think this is ever a good approach. You need to be, just be it, honest. Because you're like basically covering your ass, but it's not going to work anyway. We can go to the shepherds then. They do tie in there, no? I'm going out with David and Guy. Well, let's all go together. Whoa, 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 look. Whoa. Okay, she has a right this... to be mad, but I don't- I did not I, call I Diana a failed actress. That this. dude's playing a long game. He's playing a long game. Point is, you know, he's, is he trying to swing a threesome out of this right now? <laughs> we went to Greece, didn't we? We met in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Basically, I'd say your nine lives were up, Sean. Get fucked, four eyes! Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, that was great. That was fucking great. Oh my god. Oh my god. She, just, she broke up with him, didn't she? Yep, that's how, that's what I take from it. Oh yeah, definitely. Hey. Guys, take notes. Girls get sick of the same old, same old. You can't fall into that well. Gotta be nice to your lady. Surprise her with flowers, you know? Take her out to a nice dinner. I think you just need to be genuine and authentic and honest. I think if he just called her and was like, hey, look, I, I fucked up. Instead of being like, ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> him crying as he is. <laughs> yeah, I'll put this on some random. Oh no, I know that luck. It's not the end of the world. And <laughs> cue the end You're... of the world. <laughs> and cue the, once again, just the worst person to have around. Hi. Oh. Oh, what's wrong? Well, I haven't had your tea. Oh, they're not making out. Oh, they're not making oh, out. Oh, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most fun you could have in the end of the world most people are probably panicking right now and they don't even know what's going on oh what a oh no 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 hey hey all right cough up the cash now
I've got to go to fucking work in four fucking hours. Then can you see why I'm so fucking angry? Yeah, all right, Gordon Ramsay, chill out. Yeah, seriously. Not my friend, he's a fucking idiot. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> go live in the shed, you thick fuck. I'll leave him alone. <laughs> all he ever does is hold you back. Or does it make your life easier having someone around who's more of a loser than you are? What's up with your hand, man? I don't know, some crackheads or something. One of them bit me. Oh, no. No. And the front door is open again! <laughs> Next time I see him, he's dead. Well, that's interesting. I mean, uh, next time you see wrong. him, he might be dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro, like, you didn't notice, like, oh, weird, they have Halloween decorations out already? <laughs> oh, oh, see, I would have looked down, like, what did I just step Instantly. in? Oh. But that's insane. He's untouched. Is just being unaware the key to surviving a zombie apocalypse? Excuse me. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. She's so drunk. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Listen, I'm serious. I'm just coming out of a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I just came out of a relationship. And hold it there. <laughs> Fuck off! Oh! Those need to be illegal or outlawed. How sharp is that thing? Are you kidding? It's like that holds an umbrella for a table. Well, I'm guessing her her flesh is like softer. Oh my god, that's a really cool shot. That was actually a really cool shot. Talk about it, any. I think we should go back inside. Okay. Oh, oh. that's that's big chungus. That's big chungus. You got to get inside. <sighs> I mean, at least we don't like break in. Yeah, you know I mean, eight are all that are stand still. Oh, ain't no way. The home ain't office no way. leaves ain't the no front ain't door no open again. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find something to use as a weapon. Okay. Not well, empty cans. They missed on ninety percent of things they threw. <laughs> That's me, back there. I'm gonna shut the front door. I can't believe, it's so funny that the front door played a roar, made a comeback. Y'all need to arm up, like seriously. As long as they're out there and we're in here, we're safe. Oh, well I said they don't break in, but I, clearly I lied. You get a shard of glass. By removing the head or destroying the brain. All right. We got it. Go for the head. Oh, so you've got it. Awesome. Joking. It's like a carnival These are game. The objects you choose. Take it up, I have a bag. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. That was better than that what was I expected. Closest to effective. Oh, nice. Well, that Some doesn't of these mean you use it. Whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? Oh, he's good at throwing these things. Holy shit. Shade. That's Liz's. Yeah, but she did dump you. Oh. I mean, you're not even in the head. You hit him in the chest. There you go. That, that's that's the closest you guys are going to get. Now Let's put a knife that. at the end of that paddle and, like, tape it yeah. together or something. There you go. Nice. Yeah, don't stop. Not until you, know, you, you could probably stab the head with the shovel, at least. Yeah, yeah, you definitely could. Mom, have you been bitten? No, but Philip has. Oh, okay. Is he? If he... yeah, if she's with Philip, that's still a problem. What's the deal? We may have to kill my stepdad. <laughs> Where's safe? Where's familiar? Where can I smoke? Uh. They're gonna go to Winchester, aren't they? They can't. 
She's gonna Kill lose Will. her Sorry. mind Rabbles. if that's, Go to if the that's wind the point. Knew it. How's that for a slice of fried gold? Yeah, boy! A slice of fried gold. I don't even... Oh, we're gonna borrow your car, okay? <laughs> oh my god, this scared the shit out of me. I feel like, okay, everybody's different, but I would be way more aggressive than these two. Oh that, my god. There wouldn't, wouldn't have been a conversation of a... I, we're just gonna. His head would have came off with that paddle. I would have swung <laughs> instantly as soon as I saw his eyes. Jesus! Wait, the kid can kick a soccer ball? <laughs> oh shit! Get lost! <laughs> that wasn't even necessary. <laughs> the kid was zero threat. He just wanted to push the kid. Though Downing Street is refusing to be drawn into a religious debate. Once again. Oh yeah, now that's insane. <laughs> Can you imagine being a zombie trapped in a body bag? Son of a bitch. I hear them out there, but I can't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're dead, whoever you hit. Oh, thank God for that. Neighborhood he's better he's better than me i would not be that calm about any of this i would not be like oh we gotta make sure he's okay put the kettle on and i'll do with philip okay okay <laughs> doesn't look zombie-ish for his so nah. sorry philip why <laughs> what have you done now drug nuts running wild still i should get mum away you know just in case they come back i'm not going anywhere without philip oh what would you say if I told you that over the years, Philip's been quite unkind to me? Well, you weren't always the easiest person to live with. Oh. Motherfucker. Sean. <laughs> Sorry, mother. Mum. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Philip. Look out! Oh, okay. Now you... Oh. Now... Well, now, now he's done. Philip, in the car. You're not driving that car. Philip! Oh, my gosh, Philip! Yeah, oh. Let's get mum in the car. I'm on it. Oh, the throat. You do realize this is a 20 mile an hour zone. Oh, yeah. Shut up, Does Phillip. he think, does he Shut think that the world me. is fucking... <laughs> is he insane? I guess it's You'd think people go. would be working together a little bit. More. No, they're all like it's like business as usual. There's being next to each other. Oh, nice pop. What are you doing? I'll come to get you. Sorry, what are you doing? Are, are they unaware? I'm not going if Lizzie's not going. Oh, of course she's going. Well, I'm not staying here by myself. You're going on, Lizzie. All right, Flash. What do you have in mind? Great. Okay. I'd be like, you're not coming there, buddy. <laughs> We're going to the Winchester. <laughs> She's probably like, you gotta be joking me. She's like, there's no way. <laughs> but now it's just too late. She's in it. Nice. <laughs> Philip, hang in there, okay? Yeah. Ed, get there fast, yeah? yeah. And uh, mom, this is Liz. Uh, Liz, mom. Lord. That caught me so off guard. <laughs> that was so out of pocket. Oh, so, oh, so funny. I just wanted you to be strong and, and not give up because you lost your dad. I always loved you, Sean. Oh, man, he's about to die. Take care of your mom. Philip, why, why are you waiting so long to bring this side of you out? Oh, my gosh. Two seconds. Is he going I, for I, points? Is that what he's doing? <laughs> like... Pull over! Oh, Tokyo Drift! Mum, it's Philip. He's gone. Where's he gone? <laughs> Get him! Uh, yeah. That's not even your husband in there! Yeah, it's not Philip. Yeah, like, how delusional? Alright, like, come on. Maybe, maybe it Let's is go, shall bit. we? <laughs> That's crazy. 
not doing all this just to prove something, are you? No, of course not. I just think... Because I remember everything I said last night. Nothing's changed. <gasps> Sean, just move on. Yeah. Best time to talk about it. Okay. Oh, 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 oh my shit. god. Okay, that one got me. This is my boyfriend, Declan. Mm -hmm. Um, My friends, Mark, Maggie, my mum. Oh, they have an ad no. too. They have an ad all the way to back. Oh no! Look, they're up. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> no shot. Good luck. <laughs> oh, you gotta be joking me. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh. Yeah, they're just matching. They're just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I would have loved to see those groups combined. I would have loved to have seen I know. two of them. Uh -oh. I'm taking a shortcut before. <laughs> no, the, oh. the bravado. What's the matter? I'm taking a shortcut before. <laughs> Mom! I'm coming! That, now, you ever taken a shortcut? That was a shortcut. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Now, use the splintered wood, right? Because it's sharp and jagged. Oh! Feel free to step in any time. Did it all right? I didn't want to cry for stop. Oh, he's such a crybaby because he got yelled at. He's such a crybaby. Oh, that's not even like, that's not even, we got to find somewhere else. Look at the face. It's vacant with a hint of sadness. No way. Let's try, shall we? Please. Oh, what? Oh. Barbara, that's excellent. Sorry, dear, I was miles away. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> He's got the best one. That was that was actually killer. Okay. I right, wouldn't have the... definitely a shot. I wouldn't have the cojones to try this in, in a real situation. There's no shot. <laughs> She's like, oops, excuse me. Get around me, get around me, get around me. Shit. Get around me, get around me. Granny's like, wait a second. Break the window. Don't be stupid, we'll be totally exposed. We are totally exposed. Break the window. Oh. Two seconds. You've got to be joking me. I'm right in the middle of something. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> 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 I've spent my entire life sticking my neck out for you, and all you ever do is fuck things up. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they let them finish the conversation. Oh no! No! Get inside! Don't no, no, follow us! Yeah, what the? F you really just ruined all the chances of. Come on, you basic Whoa! Whoa. Yo! Come on, follow me! Come on! That's crazy. It's been gone a good 20 minutes. 17. Either way, we need to think about blocking up this window here. We don't want to advertise our whereabouts more than we already have. No, of course not. This dude is really frustrating me. It, him and Ed both. Do you think his master plan is going to extend to anything more than sitting and eating peanuts in the dark? What was your master plan? Breaking yeah, a window? Yeah, seriously. Cheddar. David! Twiglet. Oh, look. Hog oh, lump. What a baby. There's always one. Ooh. Nice of you to join us. Yeah, well. Oh, he's getting her back. Almost tonight. Might be swooning. Uh-oh. Well, how did you get in? There is a back door, David. I tried to tell you before you went and smashed the window. You idiot. 
It's the fuses. I'll just flip them back on. We can watch television. What about the lights? Yes. We don't want to advertise our whereabouts more than we already have. Oh, you pathetic, oh. measly, crap sack of a person. Why am I really... Is that it? Because you know some BS is about to go down. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I would shut yep. <laughs> yep, 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 shut That's that door, lock it. And it's all standby. You got a quiz. Mm. Do not play the jukebox. Do, he's going to play the jukebox. Please, please, please don't be that dumb. He's that dumb. We might have a bit of a problem. What do you mean? My man is thinking, I hope there's a fucking cellar. <laughs> like... <laughs> we just have to be extra quiet then, won't we? Some people you just gotta knock out. You just gotta knock them out. Don't hurt them, but... You need to be quiet. Alright, I'm gonna play, the, I'm gonna play the, the, the... I'm gonna play the, the arcade machine. It's spitting out coins, dude. What do you hit, the max jackpot? First hit? <laughs> Like, Jesus. Oh. Ned. Ned. So random. For fuck's sake. Okay. <laughs> Liz, Ed, grab some equipment. What about the rifle? It's not real. Cocktails. Grab the rifle. You don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's kind of cruel because he's it's, so old. It's, 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 they're not even hitting the head. What are they doing? I mean, oh my god! It's matching the music. The hitting and the light turning on. <laughs> Does he know what he's even turning on? He's just trying to. <laughs> oh, he's done. He's done. Yes, yes, in the head. Not, oh god! <laughs> I mean, this thing will not die. For the last time, it's real. <laughs> it's nice to meet you finally. Uh oh, did she get bit? <gasps> Barbara, you gotta go. Okay. Oh, we got missed! Come on! Yeah, you know what? Grab the full uh, cues. You have a better chance with that. You know what? Give it, to, give it to Ed. I think Ed has a better shot. Okay. Nice. Nice. Mom, I don't understand. I didn't want to say anything. I thought you'd be upset. No! Um. Man, this is a horrible time for this to be happening. Yeah. What the hell's going on? Mom was hurt. Mom. Oh, take over. Oh, minute. he's gonna kill oh. her. He's gonna kill Barbara. It's been a funny sort of day, hasn't it? <laughs> oh no! no. Uh. <laughs> oh. Jeez. She's a zombie. Don't say that. Move aside. I'm gonna count to three. One. Knock him out, Ed. Stop putting that gun on my mom! Oh, jeez. You know I'm right. And when she does, she'll come back and she'll kill all of us. It's better than beating her in the head with a fucking pool cue. We all know you're in love with Liz. That is not true. Yes, it is. Oh, he just... Oh. You only hung out with me at college to get close to Liz. Hold on now. He has the gun. Can we just calm the fuck down? Okay. I don't know why you didn't do that a little bit earlier. <laughs> I know you don't want to hear this. Okay, now she's got to go. Now she's got to go. There's no question. I know she was your mom, but she's not anymore. Do it! Ay, 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 ay. Could you imagine having to, like, I can't imagine the emotional toll of having to do mm. something like that. I mean, well, yeah, he just doesn't shut up. Like, literally oh, just doesn't shut up. Oh, no. David! 
and he would have shot him too. That's fucking crazy. Opening that door now would be a very, very silly thing. He was gonna shoot him, bro. That's insane. You came for the same reason that I did because you didn't know what else to do. Now get away from that door this instant! But damn it! <sighs> oh. <laughs> this dude's arc is insane. Yeah, he's <laughs> psychotic. <laughs> Yeah. Well, honestly, you tried to shoot a, a human. Oh yeah, he's done. Oh! Oh! oh lord! <laughs> They're using his leg. Oh no, oh no. Surely look who it is. Oh. We have to wrap it No! He's gone. I'm sorry. He's done. <laughs> All right, well. This is officially um He's he's done. There's no way he can. He got a bit and messed up. Nice. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You messed up on that one. Uh. Okay, that's not that's what would the, happen. You, you had fate on your hands right there. That's not what would happen to Bolton if they ignited. But you know what? Here, there's nothing to propel them. There's no... Okay, well, we'll take it. I couldn't save us. You know, I couldn't save Di or David. I couldn't even save my mom. Did something. That's what counts. Yeah, I suppose. Aw. What about Ed? There's only two shells. I don't mind being eaten. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. You don't want to die single, do you? Actually, I would like to be shot. <laughs> <laughs> what does that do? I don't know. I might just stay here. Yeah, but we can get out. I need you back. I mean, he's done. Yeah, he's been, he's cooked, bro. I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> oh, God. God. Uh, <laughs> Seriously. He gets me both times. Go ahead. Love you. Cheers. Oh, it was like a lift, I guess, to get them out. Guy. Well, it was nice knowing you, Ed. I mean, but where do you go? Oh! 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 Snap! Well, those those are useful. Yeah. They're taking us somewhere safe. I thought you two might want to tag along. Should have went with that group, apparently. Glad somebody made it. Come on. There you go. Nice. All right. Six months on, and to many, the events of Z Day must. Z Day. That's insane. Make them ideal recruitment for the service industry, as well as proving themselves <laughs> useful in other roles. Such you have got mm -hmm. to be joking me. That is crazy. But this is totally something I could see humanity doing. Oh, yeah. Monkeys have Whoa, now it's been clean. Look at this. Hello. Yeah, it's just those two. Player two has entered the game. Ah! Ed! Yep. <laughs> oh yes. my god. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> you wow. do that for me, Kim?
Oh, of course. <laughs> Come on, if if you weren't gonna get bit by me. Uh I mean I don't know. I I would hope you didn't do that for me. I want if I'm a zombie, you gotta let me go. You gotta no, let me go. What if we could still play we can play zombies? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was our reaction to Shaun of the Dead. If you liked what you were watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not ready. And if you want to check the full-length reaction of this, various other movies, we'll get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube. You can check that out on Patreon. The link to that is in the description. Yes, you can watch our edited reactions to the next two movies in the Cornetto trilogy if you want. Right now on Patreon, the link for that is in the description. Wow, this movie was really, really fun. And mm -hmm. I just got to say it right off the bat. I'm so glad that we had watched the original Night of the Living Dead before watching this because there were a ton of homages to that movie. And maybe I'm looking too much into it or maybe it was intentional, but there was a mm -hmm. lot of moments. I'm going to try to just name off some of them that I remember. Like, uh, okay, so the idea of, um, like the 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 zombies coming through and grabbing David was kind of like yeah. when um when the girl got grabbed through the door, Night of the Living Dead, or or yeah, when they came through the door, or the window, or whatever. And they also had like that hysteria hysteria mo moment where everything was chaotic when all the zombies like arms are on the on the windows and stuff. That reminded me of Night of the Living Dead. They went down into the basement, which is like the cellar from Night of the Living Dead. Um, help came at the end, which is a lot like Night of the Living Dead, except for that did end a lot differently than this one, almost completely opposite <laughs> compared to this one. But yeah, there were so many homages to Night of the Living Dead, which was really, 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 really cool to see. The Molotov cocktails, the fire, that was also a part of Night of the Living Dead. So I really, and, 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 and it like being on the news and them like tuning into the TVs and stuff. So I thought that this movie did a really good job at creating a new zombie story while still paying respect to the old night of the the original night of the living dead by george a romero so i absolutely love that from a cinematic standpoint it was pulled off very 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 well now i will say that from a comedic aspect there were a lot of moments i found really funny and then there i i felt there were some moments where it's like okay hold on now i feel like you're sacrificing some um le like i don't know if logic is the right word you're sacrificing some believability in the mindset of these characters for comedy's sake now there are some moments where it's like yeah okay i could see ed doing that or i could see this guy doing that but then there were some moments where it's like okay really would someone really do that in this in this situation but i get that it was a comedy and overall i yeah. thought that the comedy hit for me i really, really really enjoyed uh the funny moments there were some misses here and there but overall, it did it did seem to fall into uh, my category of humor for sure. I I really loved the pacing of the movie. I thought the pacing was absolutely brilliant. They did a really really good job. Something I actually appreciate about this movie versus other movies is that they did a really good job at really getting us attached to these characters in the beginning. You know, a lot of the zombie movies are kind of just like right off the bat. Oh, there's a zombie outbreak. This is happening. That is happening. AKA Night of the Living Dead was a lot like that, mm -hmm. where it's just like right off yeah. the bat. Um, but this movie did a really good job at like kind of showing us the mundane, the ordinary life, and then um, getting us attached to these characters for like the first 25, 30 minutes, it felt like. And then the zombie outbreaks happens. And then it feels like there's more stakes. Uh, you appreciate the relationships more. It adds more um, deepness and emotion to certain things, like the characters when they do go through emotional moments, like when he saw his mom die um, or, you know, or like technically had to kill his mom or when he's trying to get his girlfriend back and things like that, there's a lot more weight to it. So even though this was like a yeah. horror comedy, there was definitely a good amount of like drama interspersed in there as well. And it, and it did blend together very, very well. I think um, the drama and the comedy and the horror, I think the drama blended in very well, but I did kind of feel like the horror and the comedy was fighting a little bit back and forth yeah I, I i do feel like a lot of the moments where they tried to do a jump scare didn't really get me there were moments that did get me um and the horror did kind of seem a little bit undercut by a lot of the comedy but there were a lot of scary moments too when it when it got to those those points so overall i do think that like 
the the comedy and the drama worked, the horror and the drama worked, but the the like as a triangle, those all connected, but the comedy and the horror did have a couple moments where it just felt a little bit like they were fighting, but there were moments where it, where it, it did blend very very well as well. Um I can see why a lot of people like this movie and it would have been interesting to see something like this in the theater. Uh, especially to hear like the gasps and things like that, because it seemed like they they went pretty crazy here with with a lot of the moments, especially when the dude yeah. stuff was getting ripped out and stuff like that. Uh, really, really fun adventure. Really interesting cast of characters. Uh, did did do a lot of sticking to tropes, which was good. Um, but also a little less risky in some moments. But there, but I still enjoyed it. I I think overall. Um, it was a fun adventure, uh, a, a crazy story. Uh, the pacing was amazing, and I think they did a good job at you know, at at, at bringing us along through this story, giving us laughs, and um, also having a lot of drama, emotion, and stakes and suspense. Uh, and and, and you know, a, a good a good set of characters. What are, what are your thoughts there? Yeah, I mean, I think this was a really well done uh, film. I think it was very funny in some instances, like you said. There were some times where jokes either didn't like land or again it felt like the comedy and the horror were fighting you know you go through like some of these like these like hilarious moments and all of a sudden it's like these most gruesome brutal moments that i'm like i've seen actual horror films do less <laughs> like yeah. than that um but it was nice to see that um that them pay uh homage to you know night of the living dead um i want to say that the shower scene wa- wants to pay pay to psycho i want to say yeah from just like kind of the setup in a way um possibly and then even in the basement scene one thing i was going to mention too is like even it was weird like even the camera it was when they were like when they were sitting down and he was talking to barbara and it was kind of zooming his face the camera almost gave me like that that vintagey vibe from that we got from like night of the living dead like the old school like it was like i but it looked like it was almost like what i'd imagine night of the living dead would look like if it was in color basically sure it's like the vibe it gave me and i was like that's kind of interesting i don't know if that was intentional if that's the case but um, it was, yeah, I think that they did, I think they did a lot of things well in the film. Um, you know, obviously we touched on the fact that sometimes the comedy and horror were kind of battling. They did stick to a lot of the main tropes, like you said, which it's not really, you're not taking too much of a risk, so it's more safe. But if it's well done, you know, I don't mind people being safe because when you take a gamble, it can really, really flop. Um, and there was a lot more drama and stuff than I was expecting, especially like, I mean, you you named a couple scenes with him having to kill his mom. I mean, him and Philip, uh, Philip having like that heart to heart in the back of the cars, like very like heavy areas randomly. Was, yeah. Like it, it was kind of nice because it broke up, like it didn't make it monotonous I liked at all. It a lot. Yeah. yeah. And I think it, I think it helped with the pacing because it kept you kind of like, oh, like, OK, it kind of kept your mind focused on it. you're not just getting into like the all right, they're just surviving and they're doing this and they're doing that. Um, Super well done acting. Um, I th- you know, I think the uh, I think the acting was great. Writing was great. Um, just uh, and I mean, yeah, it was uh, very just a very very well done film. I really have, I don't really have any qualms about it. I don't think I have really many issues with it. Um, it was just overall very solid, very very solid solid film. Yeah, I will say on t- uh, for the acting, acting was really really good in this. Uh which I, I, I really enjoyed. Even some of the, you know, background characters that didn't have much to do or say, they still, when, when it was their turn, it still felt like pretty convincing of, of a character. Yeah. And even the, even the directing was, was really well done. Of course, Edgar Wright, um, you know, he kind of feels like an auteur where he has this distinctive style. Now I haven't seen a billion um edgar wright movies but i've seen a couple and i believe scott pilgrim is one of them too and i said it during the reaction i don't know if i made the edit but there were a lot of scott pilgrim vibes i got from some mm-hmm. of the like the transitions and and things like that and the swooshes and the cuts and stuff like that and you really had that like edgar wright type of feel so i definitely appreciated that i, I always love when you can watch a movie and you just kind of feel the director's essence you you can feel that a lot mm-hmm. with kubrick and tarantino and it's definitely a sign yeah. of a a good director especially if it's something you're you're happy to see overall yeah i thought it was a was a was a really fun fun time and I, and it's definitely rewatchable and i think one of the things that make it rewatchable is definitely those heavy elements because it allows you to relate to the main character more and mm-hmm. wow the emotion that he pulled simon pegg pulled off in those moments were like holy crap so i d- i definitely didn't expect that kind of drama coming from this movie either but it was it was done right i seriously appreciated it uh yeah so uh, any final thoughts before we get into the rating 
Um, I have like a final thought, but I'll do it. I'm going to go over in the rating anyway. Okay. Uh, so just so you guys know, we go from zero to 10. We never give out zeros. We never give out tens. Why? Well, because by giving out a zero, you're saying nothing could ever be worse than this movie. That's impossible to say. By giving out a 10, you're saying nothing could ever be better than this movie. That's also impossible to say. Uh, we do give out decimal points like 9.999 and so on. By the way, that impossible to say thing is our subjective opinion. Five is average. Six is good. Seven is great. Eight is beyond that. Nine is top tier cinema. This rests at a solid, uh, this a solid 8.5 for me. I think that I thought it was, like like I mentioned, all the positive things that I mentioned, it did a really good job. I would have to knock some points off because of the, the kind of back and forth I felt between the horror and comedy. Now, I will say, it's not easy for a movie to do horror and comedy together. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times a movie will try to do just horror and it has comedic elements. A lot of horror comedies, you're just like, okay, we're going back and forth. We're going back and forth here um and and some of them do it a little bit more milder this was a lot more milder because like i said there were a lot of moments where the horror and comedy did blend uh pretty well uh i think another thing that kind of knocks off some points for me is that just sometimes the characters just like i again this does take place in the uk it seemed like so for mm -hmm. for me of course things are very very different than in america uh but just the idea of like there's so many options and routes and stuff maybe they were supposed to not be the brightest. I mean, they didn't have the best position in life and stuff like that. So it 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 could make sense there. But I just felt like there were some moments where it's like, really, you you threw a laundry basket like that. But I get that's kind of yeah. also for comedy's sake as well. Uh, but th those are like minor nitpicks. I really do think overall it was a really fun, fantastic experience, beyond great. And I do think that it 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 did a good job i loved i love the score the or the soundtrack the soundtrack was great mm. i love the implementation of music that edgar wright had um and and the funny scenes uh involving that as well and uh i i really do think the drama though carried uh the movie for me i think it added a lot of heart and soul to the final piece and overall created a really uh epic and fun film and and um something i could see myself watching again at some point what about you zay what do you what do you put this at yeah i, I would put this probably right like an 8.25 not an 8.5 um one thing i will give edgar Wright. um it's something i love with or i can appreciate it certainly in films you know a lot of films like to make callbacks to certain things that happen throughout the movie or things that are mentioned or said and so you know there's kind of like two sides to it and like you can do it and it can be in a very like subtle like way where you have to almost think back like oh remember or it's kind of more obvious and it just plays in like oh yeah remember when he said this you know um it like even like with the winchester when they're shooting the winchester gun and he's like three o'clock five he's like a little bit more simpler a little bit more simple top left like exactly how he called it out when they were playing the video game I can appreciate that even though it's not and like the, you got red on you they they called back to yeah that too, yeah so it's like, even though you're not having to like rack your brain, like, oh, wait, I remember in like this, remember there was someone predicted this. It, it was a lot more simple. It's easier to digest. You're not like, you know, racking your brain, but it still was well done and written and it didn't stand out in a way that it was like, that doesn't really make any sense or you didn't really need to add that. So I will give um, Edgar Wright props for that. Well, the writing props for that. And again, like Cameron said, the directing was super, super well done. I am interested to see more Edgar Wright films because I want to see, like you said, I mean, if he did do Scott Pilgrim, I'm aware of how the editing kind of is in Scott Pilgrim. So I would be interested to see, obviously, we're doing the trilogy. Um, I'm assuming he directed all three yeah, of the did. trilogy. So um, I'll be interested to see, you know, like, all right, does this style continue through these? How is it done? Um, but overall, yeah, it was just a really, it was a really, really great experience. Really, uh, really super fun film. If it wasn't so much back and forth, like you said, on like the horror comedy, which again, not an easy task to do. It's very hard to, to pull that off. Um, and both aspects are done super well, like on their own. Like you could pull aspects from the movie. It's just when you had to blend it is where it kind of gets tricky. I mean, other than that, I really didn't have any issues with the film. I didn't think that it was like too long. I didn't really think it, I don't think there was really much I would have cut out. Um, and pacing is a huge thing for me as well with films. And I felt like it was paced super well and just, stellar acting uh from the cast all right well with that being said thank you guys again for being here thank you for the support zay i know you have a twitch yes guys my twitch will be linked down in the description below feel free to tune in stop by say hi um i have cameron on my stream sometimes i also play games with some of my friends even have sometimes we have chat participate 
Um, so it's always a good time over there, guys. I play a whole variety of different things. I've seen about actually even more people coming from the YouTube lately, stopping by saying hi. If you're from the YouTube and you stop by, let me know you're from the YouTube. Say what's up. Ask me, ask me questions. If Cam's on there, you can ask us questions about you know films that we're maybe we plan on watching or in the near future or in the future, or um, even you know what discuss some reactions and stuff. It's another way for you guys to get to engage with us, um, whether individually with me or both of us. Yeah, guys, always a good time, and I hope to see you there. Yeah, check it out. It's super, super fun. Love talking to you guys there. Uh, well, look, with that being said, listen, guys, if you ever find yourself in a zombie apocalypse, maybe try to find a, a little bit sharper weapon than uh, than a cricket bat, even though that seemed to work out a little bit for them. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. And peace.